The safer at home doesn't mean that everyone is safe at home. Social isolation is currently seen as a way to protect others, but domestic abuse shelters know it can mean something else entirely. Domestic violence is about power and control. And the coronavirus is going to be another tool for abusers to then exert further control on the victim. That social isolation is going to increase domestic violence and child abuse incredibly. But shelters know it will be hard for some to reach out for help. It is going to be challenging because now if a victim is in the same household, they have to find a safe opportunity to make that call. Harbor House's Wendy Gale says the bathroom may be one of the places a victim could get away to make a call. Christine Ann's Beth Oswald suggests trying to go for a walk outside or getting in touch with a neighbor. Let them know a sign that they can share that they're in danger. So maybe it's pulling a shade. If you see this shade pulled, call the police. People shouldn't wait for others to ask for help, though. Golden House's Tanya Dietering says people should reach out often, noting any changes in behavior. Look for signs with your friends and neighbors because this is real and it's isolating for individuals that are in abusive relationships. And when an individual might simply say, how can I help you? Are you OK? that often can trigger a conversation that can lead into an individual getting help when they need it. Though it may be more difficult now, all shelters are still ready to help women and children in need of their services. No matter who is watching this, we have better than 52 programs in the state of Wisconsin. We are all open for business. Please call your local program. They are there to help you. To learn how you can support these shelters in their efforts or for crisis hotline numbers, visit WBAY.com. Dakota Sherrick, Action 2 News.